Hello, hello. What is with this hair? Holy cow. I have a lot of baby hairs coming in. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. My name is Jen uh, with two ends. I am coming to you from the northwest corner of Connecticut. Wait, Facebook can see my paper towels. Okay. Um, but I wanted to come on super quick and talk to you guys. We are in the middle of an event. We're at a break. And I wanted to talk to you guys about getting around the fire. Like, you guys, when I say getting around the fire, I'll explain it in a second, okay? But just hear me out, come in with an open mind, because there's something to be said about how contagious the flame is, okay? So what I am talking about is how many times have you guys heard, okay? I know I've heard it a gazillion times. You're going to be like the five most people you hang out with, right? Or that you hang out with the most. Whatever. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Instagram, I'm sorry. Your guys' lighting is horrid. Horrid. Um, but it's so true. It is so true. You want to hang around with the five people that you want to be most like, okay? Now, I am not by any means telling you to go ditch your old friends unless maybe they're toxic and maybe you need to. I don't know. I am not in your shoes. Um, it, you are the only one that can make that determination. I cannot do that for you. Okay. Um, but you guys get into something. I don't care if it's a network marketing business like mine. I don't care if maybe you're really big into learning and you just want to go back to school. Maybe you want to be in a book club. Maybe you want to be in a chess club. Maybe you want to start working out more, but you don't know where to start. Okay. I strongly, strongly encourage you guys to get around the fire of these people that you want to be like. Do you want to be the smart person? Like these smart people. Then get around these smart people. Do you want to be like some of these successful people you know. Now, it's, I know this is a double, like, I don't know. I don't even know what it is. But at the same time, you don't want to be so much like them that you lose yourself. Does that make sense? Okay. Drop a one in the comments if that makes sense. Drop a two if it does not. Um, because we get stuck. A lot of times and then there's these people that we look at and we're like oh my gosh I want to be like her I want to talk like her I want to wear what she's wearing I want to I get it guys we've we've all been there okay guilty one of my friends engagements was broken up because she was spending too much time watching Real Housewives and she thought that's how real life really was okay um, so I get it I get the comparison game but get out of your own head get around the people that bring you joy Okay. If there's, if you have super negative people on social media, maybe they're your family though. So you don't want to like really unfriend them. Do you guys know you can mute them or unfollow them and they will never know that you're not seeing their stuff? Okay. And when I say get around the fire, you guys, you don't have to know these people you want to be like personally. Does that help? Yeah. Get around the fire. Get around the people that you look at them and you're like, oh. but be careful. Be careful. This is something we talked about on the team training the other night, and it was so true. Like, stop trading places. And I did a post about this, too. Stop saying you're willing to trade places with someone until you know what their entire life has been like. I hear it all the time, especially for me. Oh, I wish I was disabled so I could just stay home all day. Okay, well, do you know, do you wish you went through 30-something surgeries? Do you wish that you struggled to conceive, or not conceive, but carry your children? Do you, I mean, you don't know what someone else's life is like, okay? You just don't. So... But with that being said, get around those that are going to inspire you, that are going to encourage you, that are going to love on you where you are, but also not hold you down. The people that when you grow and you're growing as a person, they're going to encourage it. They're going to say, go to that event. Go get that 
I don't know, go, maybe you want to become a certified microblade person. I don't know what they're called, okay? But maybe that's what you want to do. Go get your certificate and get around the people that are going to encourage you to do these things instead of just totally bringing you down and saying, oh, why are you doing that? That's just a fad. That's going to go out. Who cares? Who cares if it goes out, right? I mean, if it's bringing you joy, then don't let anybody, don't let anybody pull that flame away from you. Anybody, okay? Life's going to be full of challenges. There's nothing you can do about that, okay? Sorry. I need to tell you, I don't want to be the one to break it to you guys. Um, but life is what it is. And all we can do is control how we react to things. So with that being said, I'm going to hop off of here. I hope everybody has an amazing rest of their Saturday. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.